Hello everyone and welcome to the Science of It. I'm here in the Orlando Science Center with Tori. And Tori, who's our friend we have here today? This is Rocky the Gopher Tortoise. Rocky the Gopher Tortoise. So he is one of the ones that we have on display. We actually have two down in NatureWorks that you can visit. Okay. And gopher tortoises are very special. Uh, we have them here in Florida and they're called a keystone species. So what that means is basically the entire ecosystem depends on this tortoise. And why is that? What's so special about this tortoise? It's actually where their name comes from, the gopher tortoise. It's because of the burrow that they dig down into the ground with. It can be up to 40 feet long and have multiple chambers sometimes too. Um, so it's pretty cool that burrow not only helps sustain the gopher tortoise, but over 250 different species that we have here in Florida. So as wow. it's getting colder, those animals are gonna need a place to kind of winter here in Florida and the gopher tortoise burrow is the perfect place to do that. So some of the animals that you can find hanging out in the gopher tortoise burrow would be like salamanders, different types of um, insects okay. and amphibians like gopher frogs. You can also find burrowing owls and rabbits in there too and a lot of different kinds of snakes. Even you can oh, find wow. the eastern indigo snake in those burrows as well. So they are excellent at sharing their home and basically just helping out all of the animals that live there in the forest. And they don't mind sharing They don't their home. mind at all. Yeah, most of the time um, they're not, they can't get eaten by any of the animals that okay. are in that burrow. So that's really the major problem with animals is like, is can this eat me? Right. Is this a threat? Right. And most of the animals that are living in that burrow are not going to be a threat to it. Awesome. Talk about the shell a little bit. It looks very beautiful. Yeah, this is a beautiful shell. Not compared to some other species. It is just a brown tortoise, but it's got some really cool features. Like on these little scoots here that make up the shell, you can actually count the rings and you can estimate how old the tortoise is based on those rings. So how old would you estimate Rocky to be at? He's in his 30s. In his 30s, wow. Just like his roommate down in NatureWorks. They're both around the same age. So whenever we have forest fires, tropical storms, hurricanes, animals will also utilize those gopher tortoise burrows during those times as well. All right, so a very important guy. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see them out here in Florida, kind of around like dusk and dawn. They don't usually come out during the hottest part of the day. They're pretty strategic okay. about the times that they go out to forage. And they're gonna be eating things um, that fall from the trees. So like if they, we have some oranges or fruits or flowers that fall on the ground, and they'll be eating a lot of like rough, dry grass. So he's basically foraging all day because there's not a whole lot of nutritional value in a lot of that grass. So it's a very lucky day if you find some fruit or flowers. Awesome. So these gopher tortoises, you can find them pretty much anywhere in Florida. Just about, yeah. Okay. But if you can't find them outside, you can come here and check them out too. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely come to the Science Center and say hi to Alice and Rocky. <laughs> awesome. Well, Tori, thank you so much for showing us Rocky here. Uh, if you'd like to come by, of course, come stop by and say hello to Rocky. Until then, again, thank you for joining us on The Science of It. If you want to see what other cool stuff is happening at the Orlando Science Center, it's open every day from 10 to 5.